Hey mamas, so you're expecting, and I'm sure you are probably have so many expectations and things that you want out of your birth experience and like how you want things to start, how you want things to go, how you want it all to turn out. I know that I do. So if you're interested in hearing what my hopes are for this third birth, stick around. I'll be diving into that today. Hi everyone, my name is Leslie. I am a disciple, wife, mom, and childbirth doula. And this is where I share about all things birth, faith, and family. Today, I'll be sharing about what I'm believing for in this birth, what I've got faith for in this birth, and we're just gonna dive right in. It's going to be fun. So I wanna say that there are three specific things, three specific phrases that, I, that just ring in my head for this birth and I'm gonna start with number one and it is do it again Lord do it again uh, this is my third home birth I am uh, currently 38 38 weeks and I'll be 39 weeks in a couple days so I'm almost 39 weeks and I as I reflect back, as I write out, as I wrote out what I wanted for this birth, so much of it was like, just do this again. To, let's just do this again. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Specifically, here's what I'm talking about. Exodus 119. Quick, quick, do it again, Lord. You have given me two supernaturally quick births. And I am, as much as everyone says, the third one's a wild card. Father God, I believe for you to do it again and please make this a quick birth, the quickest one out of all of them. That'd be great. Also, if you guys have ever heard me talk about my births, listen to any of my past birth stories, I will tell you that I did not suffer during any of them. I don't consider what I went through as pain. And so uh, I've considered them to me, really the experience was pain-free. And so I'm like, do it again, Lord that it would be a pain-free, trauma-free, just beautiful, beautiful birth. And then third, I am also uh, hoping that we will just do this again, that I would have the same kind of postpartum support that I had last time, the same kind of amazing postpartum experience that I had with my last birth. I'm like, do it again, Lord. We could totally do this again. I just... I loved, loved, loved my postpartum period with my last baby. And so that's number one. Number two, redemption. Redemption. There are specific things that I am believing God for in turn that I have faith for to be redeemed in this process from my last birth. No retained placenta. No hospital transfer. No unresponsive baby at birth. No need for medications for me. No tears. No stitches. Lord, only you, only you can redeem this. Only you can control those things. And so they are in his hands. Number three, a celebration. This is a celebration. This is the, my husband told me, he's like, I consider this birth a celebration. And I've been going with it. And I'm like, well, what makes a good party? Well, the music, the people, and the presence, right? So we're going to do all of those. Number one, worship. I worship during all my births because God is has blessed me he's blessed us he's blessed my family with this child so we will be singing we will be dancing we will be worshiping our father we will be worshiping this baby into the world we'll be praising god as this baby enters it's gonna be amazing uh then we've got uh we've got this hope that i've got and i'm believing god for a water birth this is listen i've always wanted one but i've never gotten to try because my babies come so quick and so i'm gonna try because i think i've i this in this space i've been able to prepare in a way that it would be like super quick we could get the pool set up quick and i could get in there right before pushing i'm believing for that and a quick birth we're gonna make it work we're gonna see we're going to see. It's going to be a blast. And um, then, of course, right, I said uh, I said the music. So, by the way, I've been building this playlist since, Jer since Jeremiah, my first baby. So, this playlist has, like, over 100 songs. <laughs> it has so much music on it. Uh, and so, the music's going to be great. Uh, but, again, then we said, what makes a good party? The people. So, I have an amazing team, y'all. I have an amazing team. I not only have... A, so I not only have like 
a, uh, a midwife who like understands what I want and is supportive of it. I have a Christian, Holy Spirit filled doula who is going to be there with me. I have a prayer group, a small prayer group who will be advised when I go into labor so that they can pray for me while I'm in labor because with my last one when things started going when things started going like I had to have hospital transfer and everything like that my husband had to contact like everybody separately so this time I just made a prayer group that is just like our small close friends and family to pray for us while we're in labor and so I'm so excited about that uh and I have the best husband ever <laughs> in Richard, so I am so excited, he is so excited, and so that is just great. And on top of that, I have God the Father, who is the parent that I seek to emulate in everything, including in bringing life into the world, right? Like, who better to learn from than the Creator? Uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? The one whose sacrifice makes it possible for me to have these beautiful supernatural births and broke that curse and his holy spirit who is my helper my comforter my advocate they'll be filling the place so we got a full house we got a full house for this here celebration and when we talk about the presents i mean what greater gift then a child and on top of that the gender is a surprise so we're gonna get a surprise right uh pretty sure i know what it is but still uh it's gonna be a surprise so i'm excited about that so there we have it we have do it again lord redeem it and let's celebrate that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm not going to dwell on the attacks that have come up during this pregnancy because the devil deserves no airtime, but I will share that I have been so encouraged by David and his song when he was attacked. And so I want to share just a couple verses with you. Psalm 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? No one, no thing. God's got us, mamas. We have nothing to fear when it comes to birth. That is why we birth by faith. We have nothing to fear because God is faithful and God is good. And the psalm ends like this. I would have fainted had I not believed I'd see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That is Psalm 27, verses 13 and 14. So that's what we're doing. We are waiting on the Lord. Your timing is perfect, Father, and so we trust you. We're trusting him for this baby. We're trusting him for this birth. We... He has never not seen us through. And so it's going to be amazing. So expect a full on birth story video afterwards. Uh, but for now, I'm leaving you with that. I hope that you will also uh, seek God uh, in your birth and that you will also find faith for the things that he has for you, the blessings that he has for you through this process and on this very very special day i am praying for y'all i hope you're i hope that you have beautiful supernatural birth experiences if you have any questions comments any specific prayer requests leave those down in the comments down below i would love to be praying for you and for your babies take care god bless you and i will see you in the next one bye